In BYD's Q3 2023 report on its financials, it reached a record high in profits. In fact, its profits are pretty staggering, especially considering the prices of its electric cars. However, only days later, it reveals its five most popular EVs have all been pretty heavily discounted. Its new Tesla Model Y rival, which is bigger than the Tesla Model Y and has more range, is also around 10% cheaper. So why is BYD reducing the price of its EVs when clearly it has massive demand? It had its best month in history in October and its EV sales are skyrocketing. Well, I'm not sure why it's doing it, but here's what just happened. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Just want to say thank you to all you, everyone who's subscribed to the channel this year and last year and the year before. We've only been around for a couple of years, but we've now made nearly 4,500 videos. So I really do my best here to um, give you as much information on what's going on in the EV industry. And one of the things that's going on is BYD is growing at a, a truly staggering rate. And it's, of course, expanding outside of China. Will the fact that it's making record profits and dropping the prices of its EVs in China affect you in whatever country you're from? It will at some point in time. Don't know when, but at some point in time, we're going to see similar price cuts because its EVs are not really selling in Europe. They've been a big flop because they're too expensive. They sell them through traditional dealers that BYD has nothing to do with. It's like on-selling, essentially. I think that'll change, though, over the next six months. Meaning, guys, you guys in the Europe and the UK probably will get more affordable EVs from BYD at some point in the future. BYD is offering discounts on the, well, surprisingly, the pretty much entire Ocean lineup. That includes the new Song L, which it discounted by $4,000 on the same day the car actually went for sale. It said the price would be $34,000 something for US dollars for the base model. It's now $30,000 US dollars. It's really, really good for that price, staggeringly good for that price, in fact. So I've made a video on that particular model and BYD's pricing strategy with that one and whether or not you, you should consider one of those. However, with only a couple of months left in the year, BYD wants to hit 3.5 million sales worldwide. And so it's really trying hard to do that. I believe this will have a, a bit of a dent in BYD's margin, but BYD is more interested in growing the margin. Fortunately for, its, for them, they're one of very few businesses in the world that have been able to increase margin and grow rapidly at the same time. That's quite an amazing feat, really. Customers who purchase models from BYD's Ocean Series, including the Frigate 07, uh, not many people know much about that car. Also, the Dolphin, the Seal, the Song Plus, the new version of the Song Plus, by the way, and the Chaser 05 plus this new Song L get discounts now of two and a half thousand, depending on what model. That's two and a half thousand US dollars. Some of them are discounted less than that. For example, the Dolphin is discounted a little less than that. I'm not sure the exact number though. However, no, just found it. The Dolphin discount is a just under one and a half thousand US dollars. Song Plus Chaser 05, the discount is approximately just under one thousand US dollars. Um, like I said, the Song L was four thousand dollar discount. Um, also, the Seal is uh, it's not selling very well, so that's already a very cheap car. But BOD apparently have discounted that again by about a thousand dollars. You know, basically they are just trying to sell insane numbers of EVs, and they're already pulling that off. So clearly they're ramping production continually to hit these new records, these new numbers, which are really incredible. At this point in time, as a result, BYD's share price has increased pretty significantly, but still only valued at one seventh, one seventh of the value of Tesla, even though its profitability is pretty similar at the moment. Obviously not for the whole year, but in the previous quarter it was. BYD sold a record 287,000 EVs and plug-in hybrids in September. That's a growth of 43% versus the previous year. However, its EV sales have grown at a much faster pace. The Ocean models, as in the EV models, sold 140,000 in September, which is a growth number of 212% year over year. 212%. Amazing. BYD's Dynasty lineup sold 133,806 vehicles, according to CNEVPost.com, in September which is down by 14.25%. This is really unsurprising to me. In fact, it's surprising to me that its plug-in hybrid sales haven't collapsed. 
Guys, BMWs EVs are actually pretty good cars. Very good value for money. It's plug-in hybrids, steer clear. My goodness, so many complaints about them. It's the number one most complained about vehicle in China. In fact, five BYD plug-in hybrids are in the top 10 most complained about vehicles in China. And uh, they're giving the EV haters ammunition. Please, BYD, stop. Fix whatever the heck's going on because you are making the EV haters create all these wacky YouTube videos saying BYD EVs are blowing up and exploding all over China. Yeah, not its EVs though. It has happened, not as frequently as that, but it's its plug-in hybrids that have had that happen. And that's in fact the case amongst all brands. EVs are far, far less likely. In fact, apparently a hundred times based on the latest statistics, less likely to catch fire. I'd prefer it if you just scrapped a lot of those plug-in hybrid sales and focused on its EVs because its EVs give the brand a great name. They give EVs a great name. Its plug-in hybrids are doing the opposite. Anyway, let me know what you think on that comment. In the comments below, let me, let me know what you think on that one. I think it's um, controversial, but it's worth people knowing that. So BYD is aiming to sell approximately 310,000 EVs. It's believed it sold about 310,000 EVs and plug-in hybrids in October, giving it another new record and meaning it could be on track potentially to sell 3.5 million cars this year. That would make it one of the five biggest automakers in the world. I mean, isn't this incredible? No one even heard of this company two and a half years ago. And all of a sudden, they've done this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.